Working together with an NGO has been so far for us a very rewarding and challenging experience. Aristotle said, give me a child until he is seven and I will show you the adult. We need to educate our kids so they can become women and men of good. There was a project to use video, instructional videos in early childhood care and development project. Plan International um, strives for equality and uh, works for the rights of children and equality for girls. But how to show a video in rural area where there is no electricity, no internet connectivity and no devices, nothing like that. That was the problem. When we met Mika and he explained us about the uh, SMB project or the uh, solar media backpack project as we call it, we knew we had to take part in it. As Plan International, we feel, and especially me as a person, have come into this position to fight for the rights of these girls. And the way we do it is that we go to the very deep communities, 150 miles wide. As we go, we go to the deepest communities where there is no electricity, the roads are not even there, uh, the community where the meeting place is under the trees. And then we started thinking, how could we have something like a portable media unit that would show bright projection of a video, good loudspeakers and also uh, batteries that would last long. This was visual technology, which involved projectors, audio, even software for the matter. This project was not easy. It took a year and a half of development and we had eight different versions from prototyping to the final version. With this experience, together with Plan International, we created a new framework of development called DIDA, Deep Empathy Development Approach. The reason that I work with uh, an NGO rather than work in the bank and make more money is that um, I see a lot of evil and injustice that take place all around me, in, even in my own community, that affect uh, powerless girls and women and, and children. And these are people that no one would ever speak for them. Looking at the, the social and gender norms that is being embedded in our communities, it's still a very hard, uh, a very hard effort for me to really ensure that uh, the community's perception, attitudes towards the girl child is being perceived as positive, is being perceived as the girl child having ability to enjoy her rights, having ability to really have equal opportunities just like the men have at workplace, at schools and at employment levels. For this reason, we created SMB, Solar Media Backpack, that can turn any room or place into a fully equipped classroom. That was the idea. This was something that we really needed in that kind of project, and so that it could also be used in other, other countries and other projects like in education and health and so many other, other places. At this moment, it takes up to two months to deploy any current non-sustainable methods like diesel generators because they simply cannot be taken inside any transportations like airplanes. So for this reason, we wanted to ensure that the SMB can be easily transported to any places where there is no access to electricity in a moment's notice. Energy in rural regions means education, means health and better opportunities. And we believe that tells back that with our technology, uh, you should be able to get a good education no matter where you are. This technology was born in Uganda and I am a beneficiary and currently I am a mentor for the youth and for the girl child. I will learn to spread it everywhere I go. It's really part of me. It's, it's really what makes my work easy. I love to do my work with Solar Park. We're extremely happy with what we have achieved so far. But we believe that this is not enough. We believe that this technology belongs to all the children around the world and to anybody who needs it. So if you are a company, agency, NGO, or anyone out there who wants to use this technology or part of it, then join us and let's work together. Because in the end, what good is it if we cannot share it? <laughs>